Hello everybody and welcome back to a rendered edition of d and &E Doodles. That's right, uh, we did a movie poster t thing with like a <laughs> family movie as the poster. A family movie turned into a, a horror, horror movie poster. <laughs> yeah, yeah just said as a poster. <laughs> we, we made a poster, we just copied whatever was out there, you know. <laughs> yeah, so we had to pick whatever family movie we wanted and transform that movie into a horror movie as like a, you know, a little poster. Mm -hmm. uh, and D is the one up first. Ooh. Made a square. Nice, nice. I did Shrunk make a square. square. <laughs> so I wanted to give it that poster border. And then, uh, as per usual, you can barely see my sketch lines, but there is art there. <laughs> mm -hmm. You probably won't even be able to tell from these light gray lines here, but the movie I chose was Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Yeah. Which was not, not my first choice, but uh, I was asking my wife what would be fun to do like a horror movie of a family movie, and she suggested this, and I was like, oh, that could be dope, actually, so. Close runner-up was Inside Out, just because of the title, I thought that could be cool, but then I was like, ooh, that should be fun. So here I'm drawing a mouth man doing a little eaty eat of a little bully. Yeah, uh, D drew Vor. Vor? He drew Vor. Who's Vor? <laughs> Vor is a fetish where you eat people. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, if you're into that, subscribe. Oh, man. For this one video. <laughs> if you're a little Jeffrey Dahmer boy. But I yeah. was like, oh, that could be an easy thing to do, because when they're little, obviously you can kill them easily. You know, less meat, though, if you do it that way. Yeah, just a little nutrition, you know? Just a little snack. So I kind of drew him in this angle, like, head back. There you go. You can see the actual sketch now. Uh, I would like you to guess. Do you know which popular anime I referenced for this? Akira. No. <laughs> Uh, the, I one used... we're, the one we're about to watch. Uh, <laughs> where the yes, catchers... Suzume. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Let us know in the comments if you guessed right. But I used reference from this movie and also Attack on Titan. Mm -hmm. Because they have a lot of shots like this, literally. So I was like, that's perfect. Gave him like a weird gross looking mouth yeah and i tried to make it uh similar to how the actual dad looks in the movie so he has like glasses he's a fucking nerd yeah he's a nerd he has like long curly hair he's a scientist guy so i did you see there i fixed the glasses because from a side view they would not be that low on your face so i had to do a lot of adjusting there so I was like, why is this? This looks like weird. I did it again. I was like, still weird. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, that makes more sense. You would only see that lens and it would be more over the tip of your nose. And you would see the eye from the side under it. Mm -hmm. I also like all that when you're the one who wears glasses anyways. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but you know, I never draw them from this angle. So use reference, guys. Yeah, always use a reference. I used the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids movie poster, actually, as a reference. Um, so I kind of stuck with that color scheme and style. 
it's just like a white background with the main character in it. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, that could work actually. So I did that. Fix his chin. It was a little too chinny. A little too chinny chin chin. Chinny chin 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 chinny. He was giving a little too much crimson chin there, so I had to fix it. Drawing a bunch of ear lines, and I was like, none of them I liked, so I just gave him one. You saved it. <laughs> saved it. You'll see a, a tragic incident later in this, but... <laughs> Pro art tip, save. Often. Or turn your autosave up. Or down and lose everything. Yeah, or play that risky game if that's what you like. Here's a sketch I went with. I thought it was pretty cool. Forgot to record that part, but all I did was make the border. Don't worry. Little do we know that under the border is a very <laughs> intricate design. Yeah, like I just covered it. That happens a lot when I like, um, when I pause my recording to go do something and then I forget to unpause it. <laughs> so luckily I remembered before I did too much. I'm just doing the inks. My classic draw the same line eight times. Well, and I changed, his, I changed his tongue a little bit because it wouldn't make sense that it goes behind your teeth, so I put it over the teeth. You put it through the teeth. Yeah. I couldn't find this exact pose, so I kind of did that myself, but... You know, if you use reference and like a bunch of different angles and stuff, you can kind of piece together if you practice enough, like how that would look. So mm -hmm. I actually was pretty happy with how the little hand pose came out. This little character I didn't care as much about because it's very small. I'm trying to not dwell on little things that no one else notices. So. <laughs> He's just a little guy wearing a hoodie. A little what's thing the about big deal? Yeah, a little thing about the text there. I wrote, what's the big deal? <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I don't know. Just something fun. <laughs> We're, let's get that hoodie. <laughs> yeah, that'll be the first merch on our store. I gave him those, like, surgeon-y, scientist -y gloves little rubber gloves just holding this uh, I imagine this is like that guy with the long hair that plays baseball in the movie I was doing the flat colors shading it in a little beat a little beat then here I come had to give him some gross lips a little shading to make it pop. I don't know why, but I switch between like shading styles a lot, depending on whatever the art piece is. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Yeah, so I do this style. This is probably like a main style of mine, I guess. Like minimal shading, some lighting with just flats. The bold outlines, but I also do like that hairbrush style. But I just felt like for a poster type of render, it made more sense to do this. I'm just drawing the old teeth lines, you know, shading, getting that tongue on them. The guy in the poster does have orange glasses, so that was true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gave him the, uh, shinies, because gloves are like latex, those types of gloves. Alright, it depends what type of glove you get. Yeah, I don't know, I gave him shiny, latexy, And I was like, we need something else here to make it more horror-esque. So I drew him as a drool, like spit strands. On top, did a top layer, so that would go over the colors and lines. And then here I'm testing fonts to see what's scary. Honey, I shrunk. 
The goosebumps. And then you see here, I'm trying to make it spaced, but it wasn't for some reason, so I just did it myself. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. And then tragedy happens. Oh you see gosh. that? Oh, it crashed. <laughs> Didn't save any of my text, but I was actually happy because it at least saved all the rendering, which I was scared about. Um, so I had to do the text again. Classic art. Save your art, please. Please do it. Uh, yeah, here I was looking for this. I just added an R rated thing just to make it like postery. What language do they use in it, huh? In this movie? Yeah. Because <laughs> the it's rating. In Japanese you wrote. subtitles. <laughs> and there it is. I thought it turned out pretty dope. A fun take on a classic kids movie. Eating a child. Oh, yeah. Well, here's mine. Uh, gonna look at uh, nothing. I did look up the like common poster size. Oh, well, you did a long cake of this. Yeah. I'm yeah, curious. I do everything in eight by ten, scalable. So. 50 by 40 actually but or the other way 40 by 50 I'm curious if you'll be able to tell pretty quickly is that Ed boy yep I yeah I did the greatest movie of all all time Ed and Eddie's big picture show nice <laughs> but how are they scary huh we'll see Ooh. And then I took a nap. And then you drew Big Ed Boy. Yep, there he is. His unibrow popping out. <laughs> They're all shrunken all heads? Yep, you got Are it. Are they shrunken heads? <laughs> you got it. Oh. I like that. And uh, I did Ooh. some stuff I usually don't do, actually, which was fun, which is mess with some of the uh, layer, like, whatever they call it. Where it's like a di additive burn, all those weird things. Like a, a faded layer, kind of? Kinda, yeah. Oh, Plank. There he is. This is fun, because this is the thing where I drew a bunch of stuff that's not going to get seen. <laughs> yeah, that's art right there, baby. That's art. You spend a little few hours on a thing, and you're like, actually, nah. Erase. Not even that, it's just it just got covered up. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, I actually like how that ended up turning out. Is that like a... They're playing like superheroes in that episode. This is the big picture show. Oh, okay, I don't know if I've actually seen that. It's it's the best movie ever made. So, or, or wait, does he have a watermelon on his head? Yeah. Oh, okay, Captain I've Melonhead. Seen it. Okay, I've probably seen. Well, it. I mean that was in an episode, but ah, uh, I don't know if I've seen this, but I feel like I have. Probably, it's, it's the greatest thing ever made. It's the finale of the show. Oh, is that when his brother comes? They go to his brother. Okay, I think I've seen it. It's a movie. It's the only internet <laughs> <any> movie. <laughs> well, there's like the specials. I know. I remember yeah. those. I'll have to do a rewatch. Maybe we could watch it together. Uh, we can't. It's You can't watch it anywhere. Oh, I'll find it. We, we can find it. Just there's nowhere to. The only place you can legally watch the movie is iTunes. What? <laughs> yeah, because they put it on <laughs> iTunes because it was still new when iTunes was out. Yeah, I don't even know if iTunes is operable anymore. What do you mean? What? What is? What does Apple use then? Apple Music. They don't use iTunes anymore. I don't like the so. program I iTunes on use, the computers. Oh, maybe. <laughs> but I don't know if anyone uses that anymore. <laughs> this is really cool to be covered up. 
Yeah, it's <laughs> a lot of it stays in frame, don't worry. It's just like, in general, it will be covered up. It's pretty art right there. Just draw cool stuff to cover it up. Yeah, that's always fun. I will definitely say I did have a ton of fun on this one. Yeah, I did as well, actually. It turned out to be a really fun prompt. Tune in next week if you want to see something similar. Mm. Oh. We just, I just do this one, but I reverse the footage. Yeah, we just do the same render. Backwards. <laughs> we just do it from the other side. We just flip the canvas. <laughs> Ooh. This could be its own render. Just Johnny, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Johnny, Johnny Plankinson. <laughs> it's Captain Melonhead and Splinter the Wonderwood. Plank's the one of Plank's the best characters, I would say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are these gonna be like silhouette-y type of things? Kinda. I, was, I, I did a lot of weird playing around with this, uh, this episode. Here, so ultimately, the best part of these renders, I would say, is you get to experiment a lot. Because mm -hmm. it's not typical things we would just draw by ourselves, so you get to have fun. Art is fun, guys. Have fun. Yeah. You don't always have to make something you want to post. Yeah. You can have fun, and it's still good practice. It's allowed. Uh, here, oh, well. this is in fact based off of the uh, movie. Um, now you're now you're getting trippy on them. <laughs> I don't think I know what that means, but <laughs> just like I don't know. Like a dreamy, uh, yeah. surreal. Kind of. I get doing like the thing they do in posters, where it's like parts of the movie inside of the silhouette. Yeah, of the that's. I based this off of uh, Psycho Scream, and one of the uh, Nightmare or not Nightmare uh, Friday the Thirteenth. Oh yeah. It was, it's a. It's definitely like a mishmash of a lot of it. Uh, here's me doing their nice purple ground. It's nice. funny, like, it already just looks like how they draw the ground. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a fun thing about Ed and Eddie. His... God, I love the art style. It's so, the style is so, like... Uh, what's the word? Unique. <laughs> that, but, like, uh... Ear or something... Like you can't do replaceable, it. kind of. I don't know. Iridescent. What the word is. <laughs> like you can't. Irreplicable. Um, you. Yeah, there you go. Irreplicable. Yeah. I was gonna say irreplaceable, but that doesn't make sense. Yeah, it is really. It's a hard style to nail down. Like even. Even uh, when I did the render of the redraw, I was like, uh, certain things I had to do a bunch of times because I was like, this doesn't look right. <laughs> yeah. And people would be like, it's like an ugly style, but it's very hard to draw, actually. It is, it is <laughs> so like interesting specific. learning how people... I learn a lot of people just think that Ed and Eddie just looks, like, ugly. One person said it gives them a headache. <laughs> yeah, some people just don't like shows that are different styles, I guess. Mm. They call it the ugly era of cartoons. I remember hearing that, but, like, they're just really unique. Like, there's no show like Ed and Eddie. Which, yeah. I think that's some of why I ended up loving it so much. And Eddie's just a hustler. That's what we love, a hustler story. It's true. It's true. Oh, that is tight. Yeah, again, like, that's a lot of... That's a cool one. It's based off of the actual show, like, that's that's from the intro of the big, big picture show, the movie. Did you do this in one day? Yeah. Damn. If I, I I can't take multiple days to do a drawing, or else I'll never finish it. I know that's what's very different about our drawing, like process, is that I think my burnout for art is like way faster than yours. 
Because mm -hmm. usually what I'll do is like the sketch, which is in like 30 minutes of drawing, probably. And yeah. I'll come back and finish it in like an hour or two hours. But I could just do that all in once, but I'm just always like, uh... <laughs> I don't know, I get like burnt out sometimes with just like, unless I'm really like passionate about a piece. Fair enough. But hey, also, do whatever like, works for you. I like doing the thing where uh, it's a slastic, funny cartoon. Uh, it's, it's just it's the same exact thing, but now it's really disturbing because it's just actual ramifications. Yeah, this is crazy. I did not expect this from this starting. Yeah, this is this was an interesting one for sure. And I had to do something here because it, I could, it was really hard to like distinguish the two, uh, the outside and the inside for some, when I did it. So I had to figure out a way around that. Yeah, I'm sometimes just, just adding a border of color or black lines helps a lot. Yeah. And there it is. Hey. Uh, I had a lot of fun with this one. Like I said, I generally really interesting take on it yeah that came out pretty dope actually not the direction i expected no i don't think anyone would expect me to choose today's big picture show too <laughs> yeah but even when you started i did not expect it to be that like surrealist over the top poster silhouette type of thing that was cool uh-huh but yeah that was a lot of fun and uh tune in next week you know we'll continue <laughs> might be something fun again remember to hit that subscribe button if you like our drawings leave us a comment what should we render or draw on a doodles next yeah let us know uh hit the like hit the subscribe hit the bell notifies you every tuesday and thursday and Otherwise, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.